Hare Krishna, we continue to read from Bhagavad Gita as it is. We are on chapter 3, text 40. Indriyani manobuddhi asya dhishthanam ucchyate eter vimoha yati esha jnana nam avritya dehinam. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Nesi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shla Prabhupada. The senses, the mind and the intelligence are the sitting place, places of this lust. Through them, lust covers the real knowledge of the living entity and bewilders him. So we have been hearing, Arjuna asked Krishna, why are we impelled to do sinful activities even if we don't want to? The, the living entity is pure consciousness. Why is it doing sinful activity? And then Krishna says, it's because of lust. And then lust, and then Krishna says, there is three degrees of lust. He says it's like smoke in a fire or dust on the mirror and embryo in the womb. And then he's going on to say, now where is this lust sitting? What is this lust? Lust means our desire to enjoy separate from Krishna. Our, our thinking that we are separate from Krishna, that everything that I'm seeing, I'm experiencing is separate from Krishna. And I want to enjoy it for my benefit. And that is lust. So, and where is this lust sitting? Krishna is telling him to Arjuna, that is sitting in the senses, means our eyes, ears, nose, uh, tongue, mouth. Uh -huh. And then all these are our knowledge, uh, our knowledge acquiring. Then we have working senses, hands, legs, speech, uh, anus, genitals. So, so we can see that the lust is everywhere. Then it's also sitting in our mind. Mind, which is the seat of our desires. The, the, the lust is there. And it's also in our intelligence. So our intelligence is also covered by lust. And then with this lust, our real knowledge is covered. The real knowledge of the living entity is covered by this. Uh, and then because our real knowledge is covered, what happens? We get bewildered. We just heard in Bhagavatam how we are covered by the five kinds of avidya, ignorance. Hmm? Ignorance is avidya. And so our real knowledge is covering, is covered by this uh, lust. And because our real knowledge is covered, then we are confused. We don't know what to do. What am I doing? Who am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? So the enemy has captured, reading from purport of Srila Prabhupada, the enemy has captured different strategic positions in the body of the conditioned soul. And therefore, Lord Krishna is giving hints of those places. So that one who wants to conquer the enemy may know where he can be found. Krishna is giving this information to us so that if we are interested to conquer our lust, we can try to uh, understand more about it. Where is this lust? Mind is the center of all the activities of the senses. And thus, when we hear about sense objects, the mind generally becomes a reservoir of all ideas of sense gratification. And as a result, the mind and the senses become the repositories of lust. So, you know, we might just hear, hey, you know what? Um, you know, that restaurant has this amazing, amazing pasta. And so then we will get that desire. I want to enjoy it. So the tongue will want to taste it. The mind will say, you know, you're going to feel really, really. In your... The mind will start saying, oh, you're going to enjoy so much when you're going to eat it, you know, like that. That's how. Now, we might say, why eating is a lust, you know? How can you call eating lust? It's a, it's a requirement of the body. What do you mean? Are you, are you a fanatic? Uh, but then we are saying, because we want to enjoy separate from Krishna. Now, the same pasta, we hear about it. We go there, we do Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, offer it to Krishna. My dear Krishna, I'm so grateful to you for, for allowing me to taste this. 
you know, then that's different. But if we say, no, I am the one, I am going to enjoy it and forget Krishna totally, then that is lust. So the mind, it creates a picture when we hear about something. It creates a picture. It could be anything, you know, or uh, have you gone there? That's an excellent place. And so the mind will create a picture. Let me try to enjoy it in this way. So next, the intelligent department becomes the capital of such lustful propensities. Intelligence is the immediate next door neighbor of the spirit soul. Lusty intelligence influences the spirit soul to acquire the false ego and identify itself with matter and thus with the mind and senses. So the, the, the intelligence is sitting close, closer to the soul, is is close to the soul. But what has happened is our intelligence has become covered right now. It's, it's full of in, uh, lust, right? We just heard Krishna says it's become lusty now. Now, instead of the soul influencing the intelligence, because the soul is superior. The soul is the one that is superior, has the consciousness. But because of this lust, the intelligence is now controlling the soul. The mind is controlling the soul. The senses are controlling the soul. And that is the false ego. Influences the spirit soul to acquire the false ego and identify itself with matter. So then the intelligence uh, you know, encourages us. Yes, yes, you can enjoy separate from Krishna in this way. It, it helps us to further... A, uh, a further forget ourselves that I am connected to Krishna. It helps us to further uh, forget Krishna and identify with matter that I am the one. I am the one is because of me. And thus with the mind and senses. So then the whole thing, the mind, the senses, the false ego, the intelligence, Krishna is totally forgotten. And it's just me and how I can enjoy whatever I am seeing. Instead of thinking, okay, whatever I'm seeing, sure, Krishna has given me to enjoy it. Of course, he wants me to be happy. He wants me to maintain it. It's given to me by him. You know, so then... Uh, so that's the true ego, right? When we are trying to, when we understand it's coming from Krishna. But when Krishna is totally forgotten, then that's false ego and it's lust. So the spirit soul becomes addicted to enjoying the material senses and mistakes this as true happiness. Then we, we think that this is happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy by enjoying my senses. We think that sense gratification is happiness. If I hear something, if I talk something, if I go somewhere, and th this is happiness. But this is, sure, this is sense enjoyment. Sure, there is enjoyment. We are enjoying. That's why we continue to do it. But this is not real happiness. There's no true happiness. This false identification of the spirit soul is very nicely explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam 10.84.13. Yasyatma buddhi kuna petri dhatu ke swadhi kalat kalat radishu bom ya ichyadihi yatirtha buddhi shalile na karhi chij janesha abhikesu sa eva go karaha. A human being who identifies this body made of three elements with his self, who considers the byproducts of the body to be his kinsman, who considers the land of birth worshipable, and who goes to the place of pilgrimage simply to take a bath rather than meet men of transcendental knowledge. Uh, knowledge there is to be considered like an ass or a cow. So Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam, oh, Bhagavatam is calling me an ass or a cow. Why is Bhagavatam using such language? How can Bhagavatam is supposed to be pure words of love and Bhagavatam is calling me an ass or a cow? Why? Because Bhagavatam wants to shake me up. Bhagavatam wants to shake me up and say, hey, sleeping soul, wake up. You are not this body. You are the soul. You're the soul. You're just thinking you're the body. You're thinking whatever is connected to the body is yours. You're thinking, oh, because I'm born in this country, this country belongs to me. And because I am 
uh, born in this community this or this society, the society belongs to me. And then we start um, creating such boundaries and create more hassle for ourselves, you know? We create these boundaries, we create these distinctions among each other, which takes us away from the true knowledge that we are eternal spirit souls. We are eternal spirit souls, part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. And so the proposition is that we can revive our true consciousness by hearing and chanting. The more we hear and chant, the more we will revive our true consciousness, which is to give love and to receive love, which is the need of the soul. Is that okay? And so then we will see that this lust is going to be transformed into love. When we bring Krishna in the picture, the lust that is there in the mind, the senses and intelligence, then it's going to be, uh, become love. So if we bring Krishna in our mind and we bring Krishna in our senses and we bring Krishna in our intelligence, then that lust will be covered, converted into love. Is that okay? Yeah, this is so beautiful. I think what everybody says, right, that whenever, every time we read Bhagavad Gita, we find a new beautiful meaning. Yes. This is really, really true. How we are feeling it. Yes, it's true. Because yes. spiritual knowledge is unlimited. There is no limit to spirit to the spiritual knowledge and ever fresh it's ever and new yes we get newer and newer realizations each time i read and, mm. oh my god i never read this before you know <laughs> newer and newer realizations uh -huh. ever fresh. yes ah uh -huh. mm -hmm. aaj teeno classes i think wo pehle hame sirf apple dikhti thi अभी थोड़ा सा रेड कलर दिख रहा है मतलब रेड कलर दिखता था अभी ऐसे दिख रहा है कि एप्पल कट के अंदर से वाइट है दिस जूसी सिर्फ अभी तक एप्पल ही दिखती थी रेड एप्पल बस ये भगवत गीता है बस रेड एप्पल हां या सो दैट्स व्हाई ना द मोर वी डाइव इनटू हियरिंग एंड चैंटिंग द मोर वी डाइव डीपर इनटू हियरिंग एंड चैंटिंग द मोर वी विल एक्सपीरियंस द ब्लेस एंड द हैप्पीनेस यस एंड आई थिंक चैंटिंग इज आल्सो हेल्पिंग चैंटिंग एंड द एसोसिएशन Oh, I yes. Think, yes, that is very, very important. I think chanting and associating. Foundation, Prabhupada would say 70% is depending on our chanting. It's our foundation. Mm. You know, so when so we are... So this is how many times we have read it. Right? We have studied it many times. We are studying it again. हाँ क्योंकि हम गलत सोच रहे हैं हम गलत देख रहे हैं तो हम हाँ, हमें हाँ वो बुद्धि लगाते ना अपनी बुद्धि लगाते ना मेन बात या और उसको उसका ये रीजन भी है कि पूरा समय हम ये सोसाइटी में रहते हैं सब देखते करते हैं तो हमारी बुद्धि भी फिर थोड़ी थोड़ी वैसी होती जाती है ना उनके साथ में तो वही तो हमें सबे सब है तो हमें खुद का वो परसेप्शन चेंज करना है हम सोसाइटी में रहते हैं तो अगर हम याद अपने आप को याद करा सके कि सब अब 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 है, करना पड़ेगा हाँ अभी याद आएगा अंश है सब कृष्णा के अंश है मैं भी कृष्णा के अंश हूँ सब कृष्णा के अंश है तो अगर हम अपनी अपनी क्या बोलते हैं अपना परसेप्शन चेंज करेंगे ना तो फिर सब फिर 
वी विल बी पीसफुल हमें और शांति मिलेगी क्योंकि वो करेक्ट परसेप्शन है ना कि हम सब सब तो भगवान के अंश है हम भेदभाव लगाते हैं क्योंकि हम अपने आप को अलग समझते हैं अलग समझ हाँ इसीलिए हम ये सब भेदभाव करते हैं पर एक्चुअली हम कौन है सब तो स्पिरिट सोल है आत्मा जीवात्मा भगवान के अंश है कोई भेदभाव की जरूरत ही नहीं है राइट आई थिंक मैंने एक चीज देखी है कि आप जब भी इंटेंशन से काम करते हो ना लाइक किसी के भी लिए इफ योर इंटेंशन इज राइट द रिजल्ट विल ऑलवेज बी गुड इफ योर इंटेंशन इज राइट बट इफ योर इंटेंशन इज रॉन्ग देन थिंग्स विल मेस अप इन योर लाइफ यस नो डाउट योर इंटेंशन हैज टू बी वेरी आप अपना ट्राई करो हंड्रेड परसेंट सच्चे मन से जो आप करना चाह रहे लेकिन हाँ. अगर आप गलत इंटेंशन से चीज चालू करोगे तो फिर परमात्मा को पता है ना देन अगेन सही इंटेंशन और गलत इंटेंशन क्या है फिर लाइक यू आर कीपिंग कृष्णा इन माइंड एंड डूइंग इट कि कृष्णा आई एम डूइंग आई एम ट्राइंग माय बेस्ट रेस्ट इज इन योर हैंड आई डोंट या एंड दैट इज कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस यस या दैट इज करेक्ट इंटेंशन हां सही है आप कृष्णा को बोल के कर रहे हो कि कृष्णा आई एम आई एम ऑफरिंग द रिजल्ट टू यू एंड आई एम ट्राइंग माय बेस्ट प्लीज रेस्ट इट्स ऑन योर लोटस फीट वट एवर यू डू फिर हम देखेंगे कि हमारे सब के साथ रिलेशनशिप्स भी अच्छे अच्छे जाएंगे हमारे खुद का मन शांत होगा मन पीसफुल होगा क्योंकि फिर हम सबको भगवान का अंश देख रहे हैं किसको ऊंचा किसको नीचा नहीं देख रहे हैं यू नो जब जब हम ऊंचा नीचा देखते हैं फिर प्रॉब्लम आती है ऊंचा नीचा कोई नहीं है हाँ ये बहुत बहुत बड़ी बात है ये बहुत बड़ी बात है इस इस दुनिया में यदि ये आ जाए ना तो और क्या हाँ ये संभव संभव समदृष्टि तो वो खाली हम बॉडी के बॉडी के आ, एंगल से देखते हैं तो ये देखते, तो फिर अलग दिखता है सही है पर हम अगर हम, क्योंकि सब हम तो भगवान के अंश है सब आत्मा है हम सब इक्वल है यू नो और रिस्पेक्ट सबको करनी है तो चैतन्य महाप्रभु इसीलिए कहते हैं ना कि ओनली इन अम्बल स्टेट ऑफ माइंड कैन बी चैन द होली नेम कॉन्स्टेंटली respect everyone respect everyone and don't expect return respect from others but as in is that ki somebody come and walk over us not that we let people take mm-hmm. advantage of us would do me respect everyone means sabko equal dekhna bhed bhav nahi karna you know hum sab equal hai bhagwan ke nazron mein hum sab same hai sab sab same hai maybe hamara dikhte alag alag hai पर है सब सेम मे भी हमारी भाषा अलग है हम बोलते कुछ और हैं दूसरे तरीके से बट भगवान के लिए हम सब सेम हैं तो वी नीड टू सी एवरी वन ऑल्सो इट्स डिफिकल्ट नॉट इजी नॉट इजी बट वी हैव टू ट्राई वी हैव टू बिगिन समवेयर किधर तो शुरुआत करनी है इजी नहीं है पर भूल जाते हैं फिर भूल जाते करना है कि दस जो शुरुआत तो करनी ही है थैंक यू सो मच हरे थैंक थैंक यू सो मच हरे कृष्ण जय गौरी हरि बोल हरे कृष्ण हरि बोल हरि बोल